In this demonstration, we will show you how to put away your goods using a mobile device. We'll begin the demonstration by navigating to the Supply Chain Execution Group node. From here, you'll see we have access to a number of quick actions, including par count, cycle count, receive goods, and put away goods. You can click on any of the quick actions and immediately navigate to the page. Alternatively, you can click the Inventory Management New menu entry. Once we click the Inventory Management New menu entry, we will be taken to the Inventory Management mobile landing page. From here, we'll select the entry Put Away Goods. Once we are in the Put Away Goods page, you'll notice that the organization is automatically defaulted. You can change the organization provided you have the appropriate data access. Once we have selected our organization, we'll go ahead and click on the Next button. From here, we can enter or scan the receipt number. Optionally, we can click on the Put Away Item button and enter the receipt and item number. Let's go ahead and click on the Put Away Receipt button. From here, you can enter or scan your receipt number. Let's go ahead and enter our receipt number. Once we do that, you'll see that we are taken to the display of the item and the item description that is awaiting put away. Let's go ahead and review the item. Once we are satisfied with the item, we'll go ahead and check it. Once we check the checkbox, you'll notice that the put away button has been enabled. Let's go ahead and click on the put away button. On this page, we can specify the put away information. You can either enter the sub inventory, you can scan the sub inventory, or you can select it from a list of values. Let's go ahead and select the sub inventory from the list of values. We'll go ahead and scroll through our sub inventories, and we'll go ahead and select pediatrics. You'll see that this sub inventory is also locator controlled. We can enter the locator, scan it, or we can select it from the list of values. Let's go ahead and select it from the list of values. We'll go ahead and select locator A.1.1. .1. As we scroll down the page, we'll go ahead and review our item, our item description, and the item image. You'll notice that to date we have received eight items against this particular transfer order. We'll review the quantity, and we'll review the UOM. If attachments were entered at the time of receipt, those would also be displayed. We can also review additional information, which would include any descriptive flex fields. Once we have reviewed the put away information, we'll go ahead and click on the Confirm and Close button. This will go ahead and process the put away transaction. And once this is complete, we'll receive a toast message indicating that the put away has been created. This completes the demonstration.